All right, guys, so we got to talk about a woke Hollywood actress who is complaining about being kicked off a Southwest flight for defending a woman that was being slut shamed by a flight attendant. OK, now I want to talk about this story because I've talked about a lot of stories in which people get kicked off of flights for various reasons. And, you know, for in the past recently, that is, I've talked about stories in regards to people getting kicked off of flights for their political opinion more specifically political opinions that don't agree with the democrat party right uh for example people get kicked off for wearing let's go brandon on their shirts on their mask or for wearing f joe biden or whatever and it became clear to me that you do have some of these airlines and some of these flight attendants that are trying to enforce their political opinions on pastors right to say hey i don't like your political opinion it's offensive therefore we're going to kick you off the flight okay um, and I also done stories about uh, people who have got on flights that have clearly, obviously violated the dress code by not putting on enough clothes, right? By basically trying to get on a flight naked, okay? And I think there's a difference between the two, okay? It's one thing to discriminate against people based off their political views. It's another thing to discriminate against them based off the fact that they're not wearing uh, enough clothes. They're literally not covering up enough skin to be on the flight, right? In a way that is respectful to uh, to everybody around them, okay? So I wanna talk about this because I think this is one of those situations, right? Um, so let, let's get into it because I found this story to be pretty interesting. Melina Bobadilla, an actress on Netflix series uh, Gentify and Orange is the New Black says she was kicked off a misogynistic Southwest airline flight after defending a woman who was being quote unquote slut shamed by a flight attendant. Quote, hey, friends, just got pulled off a Southwest Air flight because I advocated for a young woman being shamed and harassed by an employee for wearing a tank top that was deemed too revealing. He employee became defensive because I asked what rules the young woman was breaking. She responded with, quote, she is wearing a corset and this is a family company. Some people find it offensive. I then told the employee that I felt threatened and offended by the man directly behind me wearing a let's go Brandon shirt and she did not care. So I want y'all to understand a woman who's wearing a corset and we're going to show a picture right in a video of the woman who was allegedly wearing the corset and y'all tell me whether or not y'all think it's appropriate. But um, <laughs> apparently uh, the man behind this woman was wearing Let's Go Brandon and this woke actress thinks that's the same thing, right? That's the same thing. He's wearing Let's Go Brandon. I think that's offensive. So he should be kicked off the flight too. And I'm like, no, no, no. Those are not the same things, right? Him wearing Let's Go Brandon, that's a political opinion. He's wearing that on his shirt. His shirt is covering his whole body. They are telling the woman that she has to cover up, right? She's not wearing enough clothes, right? That is what they're telling her. They're not saying that she has some political opinion or something that's written on her clothing is offensive. They're literally saying, no, you just need to put on more clothes, okay? Which are two different things. Basically, Southwest Air slut shamed a young woman of color for wearing a tank top they deemed offensive, forced her to wear a company issue sweater, removed me for questioning their misogynistic policy, exercise a double standard when enforcing an alleged offensive attire rule. No, they removed you because you was making a big fuss about it, right? Because you probably was turning up and at that point it was like, all right, you got to go, <laughs> right? That's probably why you got removed. I mean, that's kind of what it is almost 99% of the time. The ragged folks at Southwest Air in Sacramento disrespected two women of color, endangered one by needlessly calling the cops and went out of their way to protect a conservative white man. Yep, that tracks Southwest Air is steamy, stale trash. Go out of business already. Again, guys, when have you heard of any of these airlines, quote unquote, defending a conservative white man lately, right? If anything, conservative white men have been the main folks that have been getting punished and kicked off of airlines, mainly for their political opinions, right? For wearing shirts like Let's Go Brandon, okay? Or F Joe Biden, or uh, wearing any type of political paraphernalia, things that support Trump, whatever that these sky waitresses don't agree with, right? I've seen that time and time and time and time again. And I guarantee you that if this conservative white man had got kicked off for his Let's Go Brandon shirt, she wouldn't say anything about it. In fact, she probably would have agreed to with it okay if the man would have made a big fuss about it okay uh and it went viral or whatever i bet she would have went on twitter and be like i was there 
The male was rude. He was wearing a shirt that was offensive, and he got kicked off. So if you don't want to get kicked off the flight, don't wear Let's Go Brandon shirts. Don't wear shirts that are offensive. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> right? However, she will defend a woman whom is not wearing enough clothes. Again, we're going to show a picture of it in, in, in a minute. But I'm just saying, if that white man would have got kicked off for wearing Let's Go Brandon, she wouldn't have said nothing about it. She wouldn't have tweeted about it. She wouldn't have pulled a victim card. She wouldn't have done any of that. She would say, well, that's just where he gets. Right? He, he just needs to wear stuff that the airline agrees with. He just needs to follow dress code. So again, this statement is ridiculous, right? Uh, also on top of that, she claims that she's being endangered because they call the cops. No, the only time you're in danger if they call the cops is if you refuse to cooperate. If you start resisting arrest and you turn up on the cops the same way you turned up on this flight attendant, which is why you got kicked off the flight. Again, these people love to play the victim card. They love to play the victim card despite not being a victim in the situation. Southwest Airlines responded to Bodila's tweet writing, quote, We're sorry to hear you were unable to travel to your destination as planned and asked for the actress to send them a private message with any additional details about your experience you wish to share. She says, quote, I don't have faith this will be rectified via DMs. Brianna, unless you are authorized to issue an official apology, reimburse me for all costs incurred related to booking new travel and issue a check for damages and emotional distress. Wow. Emotional distress. I've never heard of this actress. Uh, she doesn't even have a blue check mark. So she must be, what, an F-list actress? Who knows? So she's probably one of these people that's trying to get attention, right? She's trying to elevate her career like Juicy Smollett. Right. And by claiming victim, claiming that some type of harm has been done to her, that some type of racism has occurred uh, because she got kicked off a flight for turning up. Again, these people never seem to amaze me with the antics they'll pull for attention. The young woman who ran afoul of the airline's dress code appears to be an entertainer herself. Pop singer JC posted a TikTok video of herself sitting inside a plane with the caption, quote, bro, I got dress coded on a Southwest flight. Are we in high school? Are you upset about my shoulders? It's 102 degrees and it caused a scene because some sweet lady stuck up for me and then kicked off the flight. <laughs> Whoever grandma complained about me, catch me outside. You know what? She added in a follow up video. The singer added, quote, today has been a circus. The F you Southwest. I was literally going to cry. I was so embarrassed. Literally being slut shamed in front of everybody. Then she displayed a screenshot of Badilla's tweet adding, quote, if it wasn't for this lady, my angel, I love her. All right, so I'm going to play a video of what this person was wearing. And y'all let me know if y'all think that's appropriate for a flight. <laughs> y'all let me know. Today has been a circus and fuck you, Southwest. I was literally going to cry. I was about to cry. It was so embarrassing, literally just being slut-shamed in front of everybody. If it wasn't for this lady, my angel, I love her. Basically, just wearing a corset, like, my, I was more clothed than half of the plane. Because, you know, it's 103 degrees out. Like, everyone's wearing shorts and tank tops. I don't understand because what was inappropriate. So some lady taps on my shoulder. She's like, do you have a jacket or something? Like, you need to cover up. But cover up what? My shoulders? And I'm like, no. And she's like, okay, well, I'm going to get you a t-shirt. I'm like, all right, you could go do that. I'm not waiting for you. I get on the fucking plane because I'm not going to wear a shirt. I told her I'm not going to wear it. Anyways, this lady sticks up for me, respectfully sticks up for me to this employee and then ends up getting kicked off. For what? Big shout out to the girl on here who found the lady on Twitter because um, I reached out to her and I like want to send her flowers. Right. So y'all see that. You see that, right? Now this person goes on to claim Quote, I was more clothed than half of the plane because, you know, it's 103 degrees out like everyone's wearing shirts and tank tops, JC added. Anyways, this lady sticks up for me, respectively sticks up for me to this employee and then ends up getting kicked off for what? Well, because she was turning up. That's why she was making a scene. OK, and she probably was doing it in a way that they deemed to be threatening. Right. Uh, so it is what it is. Y'all do that every single time somebody approaches you about anything you you deem it as a threat and that you're hurt and you're offended. So, hey, why can't a uh, flight attendant do that? And I'm not even the type of person that is going to jump to the defense of these flight attendants quickly because we've seen how these flight attendants can act when it comes to political paraphernalia that they don't like. However, when it comes to inf enforcing a dress code policy that has to do with putting on some clothes. Right, actually dressing decently, right, not revealing too much skin. 
Yeah, I have no problems with these airlines enforcing those policies. Okay, I have no problems with it at all. Okay, and and that is what they did. You came on the flight basically with no clothes on, right? Your chest, uh, the, the little chest that you had, right, uh, was out. It was out. And I found it funny how they always use these terms and these accusations like, oh, I got slut shamed, right? Because there was a story I did a long time ago about a fat rapper, right? This, this woman who got on a plane who wasn't wearing enough clothes and she was fat and she said that she got fat shamed. Okay, so what they do is that they deem what they think the flight attendant thinks about them. Okay, it says that's the reason why they got kicked off. They kicked me off because I'm a slut, right? Because I was dressing like a slut. Okay, or oh, they kicked me off because I'm fat. Okay, they don't like fat people. Instead of no, 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 they, they kick both of you guys off because you're not wearing enough clothes, right? They're, they're being consistent on that policy. You're not wearing enough clothes. Again, I mean, that's very revealing. For you to be wearing on a plane and inappropriate and you think that somehow, some way, you're being discriminated against or slut shamed because of it. No. They gave you a sweater. They gave you a shirt. And they let you stay on the flight. They didn't even kick you off. You're the one that made a big deal about it because you can't wear what you want to wear. Right? Again, these flights are cold. It might be hot outside, but the flights themselves, a lot of these, they're, they're cold. Okay? For the most part. You probably appreciated that sweater once you actually got up in the air. You probably was the main one like, whoa, I'm glad I got this sweater on. So, so again, I just find it amazing how these people love to pull the victim card in situations where it's like you're not really a victim. Okay? The airline is simply enforcing a dress code policy in which everybody knows you can't come on planes half naked like that. And this actress that tried to stick up for this woman... Uh, she was just looking for attention and trying to find a way to increase her public profile so that she can get better acting gigs, right? That's what's going on here. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.